Welcome back, Rainmakers, to the Crypto Rain Channel. I'm your host, Jay Murph, and today we're going to talk about some of the upcoming projects that look extremely interesting. Now, as you know, I'm an investor myself. I started this crypto channel just about five months ago, and I think like an investor, I've been an investor for over 20 years, but only a crypto investor in the last four years, though I did learn some very valuable lessons. I wish I didn't because I should have known these things as an investor, but I did go through some painful decisions or problems myself in 2017. I made some good decisions that led to some really good returns. As well as I didn't really understand fully the cycles of cryptocurrency and I didn't take profits. That is a rookie mistake. And yet I made it. Oh well. But I like to bring to you my thoughts. Now none of this financial advice is just my thoughts as an investor and what I think about and what I'm looking at and what I like. And if that's the kind of content you're looking for, then this is exactly the right place for you. So why don't we go ahead and get this party freaking started. Alright, so like you, I'm frequently asking Murph, where are the good returns going to be? And that is an ever-changing answer in series of answers. So I'm always analyzing out there what I'm liking and where good entry points are. Now, I've been in this space for a while, so I like big pullbacks because it creates opportunities for good entries. And often I talk about a lot of the existing projects out there and where good entries are for them and where I'm buying them at and where I'm taking profits at. But today I'm going to talk about the upcoming horizon because as cryptocurrency continues to develop, new technology comes in and makes things even better. There's some amazing projects coming up down the pipe that I wanted to share with you. And the first one is SmartSwap. Now, I love the simplicity behind this. Now, it's not fully ready to use and you can't buy the token yet, but it will be here soon. Number one, it'll be usable soon and also you'll be able to buy it soon. Now, if you think about search engines, who is the number one search engine out there? Google, right? They weren't always. Um, Google was a little bit late to the game, and Yahoo had taken massive market share in that. But Google came out with something much simpler and user-friendly. And you'd go to Google and just type it in, and it would give you really good answers. So the simplicity on the front end was key, but also on the back end, some complex algorithms that came up with really good results. And therefore, over time, Google supplanted Yahoo. Now, what I love about what SmartSwap has done, the simplicity of it, if you think about it, a lot of people don't think, oh, you know, when they're new to crypto, they're not like, oh, I want to sell 2.76 BNB for 3.8 Ethereum or whatever. You know, I, I, that wouldn't be the actual exchange numbers on those. They're like, you know, I want to sell $1,000 worth of this for $1,000 worth of that. And so that's actually how this works, that you would program in here. So you want $100 of Ethereum and you had BNB and you would make the swap. So if you read here, it says one click slippage free cross chain swap. Isn't that what we really want? So you can do some very large swaps and still have it go through, which is exciting because one of the big problems with DEXs is, is when you go to sell like $100,000 worth of something that you can have some very big slippage. So they have some mechanisms behind the scene that give it essentially infinite liquidity, which is really cool. So say we did a really big order of 100 million it could actually fill this. Now it wouldn't fill it in a matter of seconds, it would fill it in a matter of minutes, maybe even half hour or an hour. But essentially on the back end, they have some connections and relationships with centralized exchanges. So that if somebody were to try to swap 100 million worth of BNB worth of um, in Ethereum, and say they had some liquidity providers providing 50 million worth of liquidity, what it would do is at first it would execute half of that swap and then it would go back to the centralized exchanges, swap some of the Ethereum and BNB to then rebalance the liquidity and then boom, it could complete the rest of it. So 
I like that. I like that. And what they're really doing behind the scenes is they're providing to you a reimbursement for the trading fees that you're paying. And the way they're doing that is they're executing the swap at the average price between the two. So the average price of BNB as given by multiple exchanges and the average price of Ethereum across multiple exchanges. But they're actually doing some trades behind the scenes at the lowest price, creating some extra value. And this is the same way Robinhood um, essentially does it behind the scenes. And Robinhood on the stock um, for stock trading has really, really taken off. So I think there's some great value here. There's this fantastic AMA that you can watch right on their site here. I suggest you watch it. Um, Yoda, his name is Jude, but he goes by Yoda. He is a very, very sharp guy, and he's the CEO. Um, they've There are a lot of big and smart investors that are in on this. And I like this one a lot. Another thing that I really like about it is I think that you will have a chance to buy fairly early, which is a big problem in this space, is that most of the pre-sale allocations go to hedge funds and other things. And then when it comes out, it comes out on, say, Uniswap. And on Uniswap, bots bid up the price really quickly, and you're never able to get that really attractive early pricing. Whereas they will, I think, be handling their own listing for their sale. So uh, there is some pre-sale stuff going on and some other things. I tried to get an allocation, see if it was able to get an allocation for all of you. And um, that wasn't possible to line that up. But they will have some kind of sale through their site where you can still get early on before it gets bid up like 30x as long as you're paying close attention to this. And I will be covering this more as we get closer to its launch. So let's go to the next one, and this is Formation.Fi. Now, Formation Finance is the full name, but if their website is Formation.Fi, what I like about this is, is it's basically yield farming 2.0 for DeFi. So if you know DeFi, you know how complex it is to go in and try to add liquidity, um, have an equal amount of Ethereum versus whatever else that you're trying to provide liquidity to, and you go provide liquidity, and then you get the LP tokens and all these different transactions, fees. It gets pretty expensive. What if you just wanted it much more simple, kind of like a hedge fund or like the S&P 500, where literally you could just send funds in and it would get invested across lots of different things for you. Well, that's what we're talking about here. And there's some very smart people here that worked in Wall Street that have created this. And so I like, I'm going to take us down to this screen because it's a little bit easier to understand. So say you sent them $100,000 and they could break it up into multiple different strategies in this scenario 30% of the capital goes into the raging bull alpha 30% to web3 formation beta and 30 or 40% into fixed income gamma and then it breaks it up into some different subsets of that and what that does is really balance out your risk and a lot of this is run algorithmic though there are some essentially hedge fund managers kind of steering the ship but a lot of it is algorithms that drives this. And so you're able to break it up into different things without having to manage each individual thing yourself, which is the next step of DeFi anyway. It needs to get much more simple to appeal to the masses. And I think this is one of those solutions of simplicity. Now, I've been watching one of their competitors, but they're so hard to understand is the freeway token or Albit. And I just think formation hits it out of the park with the simplicity behind it, that people can come here, get a basic understanding, okay, this looks right, this is what they're setting up, I like it. Now, they're still like a month or two away, the website's brand new, um, and they're putting, like, like, it'll be happening soon, I'm just bringing this stuff to you pretty early. Now, the one to keep an eye on is Tossin. Now, this is another, essentially, a DEX, and they're solving it in some unique ways, and I like what they're putting together. Um, that was their team there. Now, essentially, this is going to allow you to essentially operate like a DEX and that you don't need to go through any KYC. The accounts um, 
basically your wallet can go through some fast order matching that they're going to handle centralized. You'll be transacting with essentially your smart wallet, and then it will have some settlement oracles. So it allow you, it's kind of like a DEX 3.0 as well. So this operates in the same space as smart swap. Some similar technology behind the scenes. This will give crypto users more what they're used to and be handling it in a better way. And so I do think that it does compete with smart swap. And am I going to invest in both of these? Yes, I like both of them. And so I, I don't know who will be the winner. Maybe they both will. But this is one that a good friend of mine who I have followed in investment since 2018 brought this to my attention. Um, and I like the way he breaks down and analyzes things. And he spoke to the team behind the scenes. I have not spoken to this team. But he told me to take a look at it. I liked what I saw, and so I'm just telling you what I liked and what I saw. Another one I've talked about briefly in the past. It's still coming down the pipe. This is the Legends of Crypto card game and token with NFTs. Looking forward to this. Should be some fun. Um, we'll see how this plays. But I'm looking at NFTs that I think have certain characteristics that make them useful in some ways, but also have a chance to be worth a lot down the road. Now, if I, you know, buying some of these, I'm going to probably sell where I feel like we're getting close to the end of the bull market. But then on ones like this, I'll be looking to buy back to during the bear market because I do think some really good NFTs there will be strongly impacted by the bear market, which will make some really attractive pickups. And so we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to how this exactly rolls out. I think the idea behind it is good. I was considering getting together some people to make something like this myself because I realized the value in making some, some cards related to the legends of crypto, almost exactly what they did here. And so when I saw this, I was like, fantastic. Somebody with far more experience in gaming and other things and brought together the right people to do this. This is a fantastic implementation. In fact, better than I would have done. I would rather just buy it. I don't want to have to create it. I want somebody else to create it. And yet they did along the lines of what I was thinking. So I'm looking forward to this one. And another one that is really cool, and I'm not going to play the video for you here, but the video is amazing. So if you've watched Decentraland, it's pretty good. And Sand Sandbox is pretty good, but the graphics aren't really there. And all of us are waiting for that Ready Player One universe. And this is a lot closer to that Ready Player One universe than the other ones out there. Now, there is something to be said for pixel art, and Sandbox has purposely gone that way because of the simplicity of it. But there's room for something with, like, Ready Player One-type graphics and a universe like that. And that's a lot more what you see if you come to net network. But, I mean, so netvrk.co, and you can watch the video here, and you'll see some amazing graphics. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff early stage, you don't know if they will hit it out of the park. You just make your best guesses. And I'm not always right. I'm just often right. But I like that Bonley is invested with them. Bonley has done a lot of good things. Ferrum Network as well. Some of these I don't know. SMO Capital and Node Capital I've seen in the past. I don't know these other ones. But... I'm liking this one a lot and just wanted to give you a, just a quick preview. As these come closer to launching, I'll do a video covering them more in depth. But I wanted to tell you what's on my mind because that's what I do. All right, everyone. I'm going to leave you with our outro with Manuela from Argent de Argentina. And she's going to sing for us. For all you rainmakers that subscribe to the channel and you like every one of my videos, which helps us grow with the bigger vision. Really, I started this channel for a couple of reasons. Number one, I felt like there weren't a lot of crypto investors or investors who have then gotten into crypto that had a YouTube channel that can share with you how investors think about these things. So I wanted to provide that. Secondarily, I realized that just as an investor myself, 
some of the people weren't getting back to me. Now, I don't run a hedge fund in the crypto space of like $200 million. So they get back to those type of investors. I just have my own investment funds that I've been investing in. I've done well in crypto. But I wasn't getting the information that I really wanted. That information I really wanted is the stuff that happens that's not like private information that they're, they're under contract not to disclose. But a lot of times there's a lot of information out there that hasn't hit public awareness. And I find that sometimes I get that information late because I don't know the teams and don't speak to them on a frequent basis. And my thought was, if I could find a way to add enough value to you, you would want to subscribe to the channel and like the videos in a bigger vision of growing the channel, which then grows the network and puts me in touch with all the different teams out there. So I can be speaking to them on a frequent basis and I can get a lot better information, bring you even better information that together we can get there better. And nobody was really going after that. And so, you know, since nobody was hitting that space and I realized that somebody needed to, I needed to be the one to go ahead and do it. So I hope you are enjoying the content. Also, join our Telegram channel. We're doing a giveaway and it's a thousand dollar total giveaway in one chain, one of the projects I really like. If you join the Telegram channel, you can look for the details there because you have to put in your entries by the end of this month to be eligible and what you're going to do is you're going to make your best guess on where one chain is going to be at the end of may and the seven closest winners get prize money sent to their one chain wallet so if you don't have a one chain wallet that's okay you have plenty of time to figure that out for now you want to join the telegram channel and enter the competition you'll reach out to our admins there's a google form that you'll complete that will then have your prediction and some other information so that we can verify just one entry per person. And um, yeah, you have a chance to win that and then we will send you some one chain, which right now one chain's trading at a buck 40. When I started um, my channel, I some of my early videos were on one chain and it was trading about 30 cents. So it's appreciated quite nicely. It did go all the way to 240. It was impacted heavily by the retracement. And so it's brought it back to a really attractive price of 140. And where will it be a month from now? Well, that's up to you to guess. So I do go over charting frequently in my videos and show you how to chart so that you can make your best guesses. As well as one of my business partners, um, Angel, we're producing a course together. And um, there's also going to, in the Telegram channel, you can find a pin post with a link to his channel. He is a trading expert. And if you want to learn how to trade, follow his channel and watch how he breaks things down because that will be the best way to get started while we finish up this course that will help improve your trading skills. Now, the cost for this course is a really steep price. I know many of you can't afford it because that price is actually at no cost to you. Um, and the reason we went ahead and did that is just because some places, you know, $1,000 is not a lot of money. In some places, that is a year's worth of income. And so literally, we'll just produce it for free for you. Um, the only problem is free is sometimes too cheap of a price. And so people don't they they don't take it as seriously as when they put money into it and it's just you get back what you put into things so that was our only reservation there but we did go ahead and make that decision to be building and putting it together for you for free and um, we will have uh, like a one chain address and a bitcoin address you can donate to but only after you've done well from the information that you've gotten right makes sense all right so manuela is going to take it away from Argentina with our outro song. Thanks so much. Success is falling, flowing like rain. The timing's right, we're getting paid. Come on, ring makers, let's make this happen. Let all the haters do their thing. There's no other that crypto. So
grass is falling, blowing like rain. The timing's right, we're getting paid. Come on, rainmakers, let's make this happen.